What's up guys, today I'm going to show you how I made these custom RGB taillights for the 3G again, 3G Eclipse. Um, this time we went a, uh, a little bit more unique and went ahead and put hexagon halos. Um, yeah, this is the first time I'm using, I think, 3D printing um, uh, design here, so I just want to show you guys real quick. Alright. What's up guys, so today, um, this is still climbing down if you didn't know, but I just wanted to show you guys how I made these custom RGB taillights for the 3G Eclipse. Um, I'm going to show you right now how they look like, but um, that's basically it. It's not a halo, but let's go ahead and try to turn these on here. So again, they still have that same, as you can see, RGB effect to it. So that's really cool how I can manipulate the shape and look at that it came out pretty nice um, this is the brake light and then the sequential turn signal it's kind of like this so there you go okay so I just wanted to show you guys so we're gonna sh I'm gonna show you how to make these um, it's really not that difficult uh, with the help of a 3d printer everything's kind of magical so right now I'm just kind of closing off the outside getting ready to um, finish these up so yeah I'll show you guys what you need and to make these cool looking taillights alright guys so to begin uh, first you're gonna need is a RGB or I'm sorry you're gonna need an aftermarket taillight um, since the original taillights to the 3G Eclipse actually don't have a clear lens uh, we're gonna have to source one elsewhere so you can get this on like eBay or Amazon um, they usually come in chrome so first you gotta do is paint it black the housing and then next is trying to figure out what you want to fit in these circles here so as you can see they're big at least four maybe two and a half inches right there the customer wanted uh, something unique something that no one else has had so I decided to whip out one of these this is actually a uh, a 3d printed LED housing <laughs> so just get the design of that I'm not gonna really talk about that um, it's pretty self-explanatory you kind of just you put the hexagon and that's it all right you light it up all right and then you make another one there a little small guy right there and you have two hexagon halo style whatever okay so these are essentially going to be both RGB um, these will cover out as well um, these will cover the running light and the turn signals so we have a running light whichever color you want and then a turn signal sweeping through so you how exactly how I made these RGB hex halos um, work with the RGB so yep just an LED strip or RGB strip so we're gonna go ahead and attempt to use this um, we're gonna go ahead and take it off this waterproof ceiling wrap around here So when you get it out, it should look like this. That's what the LED strip looks like. As you can see, it has these mini microcontrollers here. And then you have the uh, SMD uh, 5050s and as well as the direction of flow. You can see that little arrow there uh, where it's indicating where it wants to go. So if you want to, you can resolder these as you can see we're just taping it on the side of the uh, halo here right there just going around we're just taping the LED strip around here right as close as the wall as possible so we don't really see it um, and yeah first we're gonna make an opening for this uh, LED strip to go to so figure that out now Just your standard uh, white filament, by the way, if you guys wanted to know. So we add it like this. We need a little bit more. 
just a little bit more. So that's the way we're going to do it right there. Also, it's a really good idea if you're trying to do like multiple wires in one, uh, just get like a three strand like this. This will help you. Uh, Arduino guys know what I'm talking about, but if you have like a data power and ground, you're going to need stuff like that. Sometimes it's four wires, so it's better to have it like this other than like, you know, three random wires. So it is our power wire. Our green is our data. And the white would be our ground. Now we can solder those to, to the strip. To me, this is the best part, is when you wire it like this, and you have so much customization here. It's crazy. It doesn't take a lot to solder three wires, but that's pretty good. So now we have it connected, we have it cut, and we can reconnect it um, to our liking. see so now let's go ahead and test this out see if it's working good run the wires through that slot remember what we build here for the light bam bingo bambo I'm gonna go plug it in and then see where where we're at. Oh. oh. It's still bright in here for fucking color change, but that's pretty much it. I'm gonna hide a little bit of it, but that's pretty much it. <laughs> I don't know if you how well you guys can see that, but that is our RGB hex halo DIY. As you can see, it's pretty simple. I mean, it's just running it correctly, I guess. Let's do this sequential, I guess. I don't know which one is it. Boom. Sequential is up and running. Let's go. So we're going to go ahead and use, um, I like to use the aluminum foil tape, stuff like this, for closing off the back, um, just so you can have a little bit more light coming through one way. Once you're done, it should look something like this. There you go. So it's a lot more complete. As you can see, it only goes from one side. Um, and that's what we want. As you can see, we have that one going down, barely noticeable. And yeah, that's a, that's a hexagon. <laughs> so we're gonna go ahead and do this side now. Uh, we're gonna link the two as you can see I have already cut the other one So this is still a good strip. Don't keep that in mind is just once you cut it doesn't mean the bad ones broken It's just cut so we're gonna use this this together boom Of course 
make sure your leads are correct. Okay, so um, here it is. <laughs> so I got it done. Um, basically, you just want to make sure those things are on there, not jiggly jangling around, as you can see. Little to no play. You know. So it's on there. Um, we're going to go ahead and connect the um, LED strips back together. So. It kind of reunited him so I'm gonna ahead and connect them again again with the corresponding wires I'm gonna get ahead and turn it on and then we'll move on to the brake light oh and also I've gotten a new solder it's kind of the same one actually it's just the TS 100 whatever just gray I've been using my brother so I was like oh might as well get one of these but yeah <laughs> little little advert right there PTSD of like it touching each other for some reason. I don't know why. Okay, moment the truth. Let's see if it works. Plug it in. It's already plugged in, so we just need the battery. Where's the battery? Excuse me. All right, there you go. All right, startup animation works. Looks good. Looks bright. Looks awesome. Cool. I don't know my, how much you guys can see that. So, let's try the return signal. There you go. It's glitching like that because it's fucking alligator clips. Sequentials work. Cool. Now we get to work on the thing. I really don't know if you guys can see that though. It really looks really good. I mean like, okay, I've gotten something simpler. You don't really need a lot. It's just a brake light, but some designs I have actually has a really nice brake light, but we're just gonna use a LED strip like this and we're just going to cut it. We're just gonna put two LED strips like this and then with the cover, where is the cover? What the heck? With the cover, boom. And it's that simple as that. So, let's go ahead and get on with that.
Okay. And boom. Well, we're going to go ahead and test before we close. So, let's see. Had to lower it down for the ISO, but that's it. See the colors. All right. Nice and hexagonal. All right, guys. So the only thing left to do is just install the clear lens. I actually wrapped it so it doesn't get dirty, but that's it. I mean, that's how you make custom uh, RGB tail lights hex style for the 3g eclipse uh, one more time if you guys want to see it again the starting animation is killer too so that's pretty much it it's it's really hard to capture on a film i'm too lazy to do in the camera settings but it is awesomely bright and it's very diffuse so that's what i was looking for and the brake light break light um so yeah hope you guys enjoyed the video um it's been a while since i posted but you know it takes a while for building these so plus i got my clips it's all kinds of uh, evap stuff but we'll get on to that later uh, or in the future so right now i just wanted to show you guys how to make these and they came out really good so can't wait to take these um to the person and hope they enjoyed it and uh let's get this uh all done so i hope you guys enjoyed the video see you guys later peace